Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Presley. Now before we start the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That would be greatly appreciated. So as you guys can see, I have on my military OCPs because this is an army video. You guys already know the vibes. And as you guys can see by the title of this video, this is called what is white days like in basic training? Now, I'm so excited to answer this because I know you guys have tons of questions about white days. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my red face video because I did make a video about red face, all the questions you guys need to know, all the answers answered and all that good stuff. And we are gonna talk about white days. So let's just hop right in it. So white phase is honestly not that bad. White phase is the second step from red phase. So once you guys get through red phase and you complete that successfully, you guys will be in white phase. Now white phase is pretty much like the neutral phase. Now it really just depends on your drill sergeants because some people say that even though they're in white phase, they might be experiencing, you know, a lot of like chaos and stress. But honestly, white phase is pretty much like the neutral phase. It's the phase where everything is supposed to you know kind of be calming down a little bit so that's number one is white phase is generally the neutral phase and in white phase one of the first things that you guys are going to do is learn about your weapon so all throughout white phase it's around four to five weeks of white phase and in this phase you guys will go to the range every single day you guys will go to the gun range every single day every day you guys will wake up very early and you guys will spend around seven hours at the range because they have to test every single soldier every single soldier has to know how to you know use the weapon properly how to zero the weapon how to aim properly there's a lot of safety and there's a lot of rules and regulations that goes into going to the shooting range it's not just about taking that weapon and just flagging it everywhere you can't just start pulling the trigger you know White phase is all about, you know, uh, weapon safety. You guys will learn how to assemble the weapon, how to disassemble the weapon, how to clean your weapon. White phase is pretty much the phase where you're just going to the range every single day. You guys will also do some stuff in between, like going to classes and things like that. So that's number two is weapon safety. So you guys will have certain classes where you guys will be in the room with a drill sergeant. You know, it might be like 20 of you guys in the room and there's probably gonna be at least three drill sergeants teaching the class, but they will teach you guys about all the safety, everything that you guys need to know about the weapon. And the weapons are usually an M4 rifle. I will insert a picture, or it's usually like an M16. They're pretty big weapons and you guys will have to carry these weapons around everywhere you guys go even to the defect even when you guys are um in your rooms you guys will put your weapons you know under your bed and these weapons are not loaded they're not you're not allowed to walk around with loaded weapons loaded stuff like that because that's not safe but when you guys are at the range you guys will learn how to load the weapon properly how to shoot i will have a whole separate video about the range if you guys are interested i definitely want to make a video about you know all the safety and also my experience because going to the range was honestly scary but it doesn't get that scary after a while once you guys learn how to properly use it how to load it how to disassemble it how to clean it it's honestly not that bad and it's a great stress relief because when you guys are shooting it kind of like you guys just feel like a rush like it's actually pretty fun going to the range and knowing how to properly and safely use your weapon that is huge you guys um so the next thing is in white phase, you guys will learn about land navigation and you guys will also learn how to use and read a compass. Like when you guys are in the field, you guys will learn how to do land nav, meaning you guys will learn how to plot points on a grid, on a map, and you guys will learn how to find your way through a forest. Or if you guys are ever lost, you guys will learn how to properly use a compass. Using a compass is so important because even though nowadays we have GPS systems, even though we have Google Maps, it's still good to learn how to use a compass. If you're ever in a situation where you're lost, you guys will learn how to properly use and read a compass. You know, you just never know when you're going to be stranded somewhere. You could always just be like, hey, I learned about this in basic training. I know how to survive. So that's another thing about white phase. You guys will learn how to do things that you guys have never learned before. You guys will learn how to go to the shooting range. You guys will learn how to read a compass. You guys will learn how to camp. You guys will do the field, which is where you guys go out to a campsite and you guys will learn how to camp, how to set up a tent, how to eat an MR. Now, if you guys haven't already, please go watch my MRE video because I made a video about, you know, the field and like how to properly open, how to unbox an MRE. Please, guys, go watch that video. I highly suggest it. I highly encourage it. 
And so that's what you guys will do in white base. You guys will learn about land navigation, compasses, how to use your weapon, how to safely use it, all that good stuff, how to clean your weapon. Number seven is in white bays, you guys will of course be doing PT every day. You guys do PT in red bays, white bays, blue bays. You guys will do PT every single day because they are trying to prepare you for the APFT and the ACFT. Now that will also be a separate video because those are tests that you guys have to pass in order to keep moving on. You guys will have to take a special fitness test, you know, to keep your body right. And you guys will be doing PT every single morning in all types of weather. I mentioned this in my other video, but you guys will have to do that every single day. I know it sucks, but you guys will have to do that. And number eight is in white phase, you guys will be doing lots of confidence courses as well. Just like in red phase, you guys will be doing really fun stuff. It's actually not that bad. You guys will learn how to work as a team. It's all about teamwork, guys. It's all about working as a team. If one part of the pyramid breaks, everything is gonna shatter, crash, burn, crumble. The whole pyramid is just gonna fall to the ground. So friendship is important. Teamwork is important. You guys don't want to be, you know, picking fights with people. You guys don't want to be pissing people off. Just work as a team. Respect yourself. Respect others. Respect the drill sergeants because when the drill sergeants see that you guys can work, can work as a team, they're going to be like, wow, like these people are doing so good. These, these trainees are really giving it their all. They're working so hard. So yeah, guys, be respectful. Work as a team and you guys will survive. And that is pretty much all for white phase. White phase is honestly not that bad, guys. It's the neutral phase. It's the phase where things are supposed to be getting better. But if you make your life hell, it's gonna be hell. If you wanna give people attitude, if you don't wanna work as a team, you guys are not gonna be successful. It's all about just sticking to the topic, doing what you guys need to do. Right time, right place, right uniform. You guys will be good to go, guys. White phase is honestly not that bad, guys. It's all about having a positive mindset, a positive attitude. I know you guys can do it. And that is pretty much all for this video, guys. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And stay blessed. Peace. Love you guys.